Hello everyone, this is Do A Dreamer. So yes, today I'm going to be watching and reacting to the latest episode of Death Battle. And this episode is going to feature a battle between Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil versus Frank West from Dead Rising. The Battle of the Zombie Slayer is going to duke it out to see who is the Alpha Zombie Slayer. That sounds kind of cheesy, guys. <laughs> but anyway, before I go forward, please go to ScrewAttack's YouTube channel or their website to watch the original video first in full screen without my commentary. And it's in entirety. I don't do reaction to the pre-analysis. I already watched the pre-analysis. So if you want to watch the pre-analysis yourself, you need to go to their YouTube channel or their website to watch the original video first and then come back to watch my reaction. All the links in the video description. Please support the official release. So, yeah, um, so I watched the pre-analysis, and they added some, a lot of stuff for Frank, <laughs> um, and I, I'm not going to dispute it because it's actually all canon to the Dead Rising franchise. I actually had the opportunity to play Dead Rising 4 of Frank's big, uh, it's the one for the PS4. And, oh my gosh, um, there's a lot that he can use against Leon and what, what all the stuff he's been through. Like, like the x I already mentioned. Also, the different costumes where you can actually use the powers of other Capcom characters. And I didn't think they were going to factor that in. Because there's actually a mode where he can play, I think it's called Capcom Hero Mode. Where he can use other characters from Capcom's powers just by wearing their costumes. So I didn't think they were actually going to be doing that, but they are. And, oh my gosh. I'm actually glad they didn't include any feats from Marvel vs. Capcom series. Mainly because it's not really canon. But like I was telling everybody, there's plenty of stuff for Frank to use in this series. And as you saw the pre-analysis, yes, there's a lot. Now, this really turns the tide a little bit. You know, with all those powers and all those um, weapons that he has, does Leon have a chance? Um, I kind of still think he does because, again, you saw him take hits from even Tyrant level BOWs and he walked it off and shrugged it off like it's nothing and again he expects the unexpected all the time so even if Frank wears the exosuit it's kind of like him fighting a tyrant and if Frank does turn into a zombie he's just another zombie to Leon I mean and he doesn't just he didn't just fight Zombie. He's fought BOWs, tyrant level BOWs, including uh, Ouroboros, the, the those met those people who are pretty much intelligent too. So, and I know Frank has fought an intelligent zombie in Calder, but so has Leon, you know. So I I still think that Leon does have a chance, but if Frank does win, I won't be surprised. At all. Seriously. I'll probably be more surprised if Leon does win with all the stuff he has, including donning the powers of other Capcom characters. But we'll see what happens, guys. So I'm still rooting for Leon for this one. But we're going to watch this right here, right now. That's the thing about it with the phone. It takes a while to load up. There we go. All right, the combatants are set. Let's send this to me. Oh, I love all. both franchises, it's just to let you know, guys. I know some people were actually um, accusing me of being uh, biased for Resident Evil, but I love both Resident Evil and the Dead Rising series. Oh, there's Frank West. We're definitely in the zombie apocalypse. What the heck? You know what that sounds? It sounds like Nidge. No <laughs> I know it's not Nidge, but... Before, Here we go. Ooh, good marksmanship by Leon. Oh! And he's gonna use all those junks. And... Batter up. Batter up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm telling you, man, the close quarters combat and that knife. Which I didn't know can actually cut through. Woo! 
<laughs> and like I said that he's actually gonna go into oh shit the zombies oh zombie horde Woo! look at that yeah you're gonna make something up man and I bet he's gonna go to those arcades I saw a metal slug in there oh there's that <laughs> Thor type hammer thing which takes a lot of strength. If you felt the, how heavy a car battery is, it is heavy. So, and they're fighting against zombies. I've noticed that, that when it comes to zombie killing characters in versus battles, they always include them fighting a horde while fighting each other. But the voice actor is great. <laughs> covered war. So, you may have covered wars, but have you actually been through war? Well, in a way, yeah. Oh, there's the Reaper. And cut it in with knife through butter. Hot knife through butter. Arcade Heroes, what he's gonna do. Oh boy. Hey, I remember that. I used that for battle mode with Negan versus uh, Frank West. Although, of course, I'm not going to do it just... I won't do it justice as this animator. Oh, boy! Oh! Oh, my God. He's still alive. He's kicking. Oh, my God. That I think that's death in there. Woo! That reaction time. Oh, there's the exosuit. Just like you, he has more abilities with that exosuit. When he combines it. Oh, there's this bike. And there's the special RPG. Oh, shoot. I don't think he's going to get a chance. Shit! Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Leon. You got this. Oh, he got this. Game over. Is he gone? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes! Woo! I told you guys! Good thing I stuck with my prediction. Yep. With an exosuit. Yeah. Was much more impressive. By comparing the boulder's size to Leon, it appears to have weighed around nine tons at minimum. Ooh. While Leon did have help pushing it, even half of nine tons is much heavier than anything Frank's lifted. Mm, I know what people are gonna Leon think. You can't Frank use that because it's like Superman lifting the infinity book and Leon's the earth. Yes. That's true. End, the most important question was whether or not Leon could cope with Frank's insane weaponry. But again, creativity. But Leon's seen plenty of crazy shit in his career. Yeah. Lots of surprising and off-putting monsters. His years of formal training and more consistent combat records certainly lent him the experience. Yeah, like he was going toe to toe with tyrant level BLWs, guys. Enough to one shot him, and he's shown plenty of creative strategy and critical thinking mid fight. Like when he fought Tyrant Glenn using momentum mm -hmm. from his own injuries and throwing a freaking motorcycle through the air. Leon was just too fast, too strong, and too experienced, too... and too bad. I told you guys. He was frankly on his game. Really, dude? Is Leon Kennedy. Frankly. And you had to have him sit on the throne in uh, Resident Evil 4. Yeah, oh yeah, it was, um, Lewis Cruz did this, CV Animations, awesome job, man, let's see who's next. Dr. Str- Oh my god, people got what they wanted! Finally, Dr. Strange versus Dr. Freaking Fate! Finally, people are getting what they want, and... I wonder if this is going to be in 3D animations. I hope so, man. It deserves to be in 3D animations. But anyway, you guys. Uh, yeah, I was correct with my prediction that Leon would have the... Hello. Why is this on? Shut up. Thank you. But anyway, um, like I said, I was correct with my prediction that Leon did have 
um, the advantage in terms of experience. Now, I think a lot of people are always reliant on the fact that Frank has so much weapons and whatnot that it's going to be the factor. But just because you have so many weapons and a lot of good versatility, which he does have the upper hand against Leon. But again, with everything else, from experience to even the strength feats, even the speed feats and whatnot, he still will find a way to defeat Frank, even with his unpredictability and creativity. I mean, look at all the stuff that Leon has been through, all the B.O.W.s, and the ways he had to just do to defeat them, all the critical thinking and problem solving. So, yeah, I have to agree with that, that Leon would definitely win against Frank West here. Now, I know some people are still going to say, well, you didn't include Marvel vs. Capcom feeds. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thanos and also the likes of Zero and whatnot. But again, that's not really canon. You know what I mean? It's not really canon to the whole Dead Rising franchise. And as I said before, with everything that Frank has been through, it was enough information, enough kind of stuff and feats that would have a good and even a little bit of a close fight between him and Leon. So, yeah. And like I said, you know, it is what it is, guys. I know some people are not happy with it. And there's like some people weren't happy when I let Negan beat Frank. And so far, Frank hasn't really won a lot of Versus series. Um, the last time I saw him in a Versus series, of course, my show, Battle Mode, he lost to Negan. But if this was a re if it was a research out, he would definitely win against Negan. And Flat Zone also did Ash Williams versus Frank West, and Frank West lost. So, so far, Frank has somewhat of a losing streak in Versus series. You know, so, but I think with this one, seeing as that uh, Limerick Showdown is no research and my show is no research, I think we can just let this one, Battle Mode, be like, say, just one for zero. You know, one loss and zero wins for Frank. Yeah, I think that would be fair. But um, Lewis Cruz did an awesome job and the voice actors did an awesome job. And I'm looking forward to see the next one. Doctor Strange versus Doctor Fate. Who is going to win? Which doctor is going to be the best doctor? <laughs> or something like that. But anyway, guys, um, that's my thoughts. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on this um, episode of Death Battle. Do you agree that Leon Kennedy would defeat Frank West in a research battle? Would he have the uh, odds in favor for victory? And what are your thoughts on the animation? And what are your thoughts on the next episode? Dr. Fate versus Dr. Strange. Feel free to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. We got to discuss and debate about it. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Also, find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. And please go to ScrewTech's YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Go to Lewis Cruz's YouTube channel. Please subscribe to him as well. And also, check out my versus series, Battle Mode. All right? I'd like to know what you guys think. All right? So, this is Dude Dreamer. And... Always dream big.